what was so cool about watching you develop this whole idea of chorus and verse was when we started teaching it to our students, there, there became problems when we were teaching game at the scene, which was people would find that thing that is funny. And then they would just do it <laughs> over and over and over and over and over again, like an eight year old who found a, a new joke that they like just repeating the same thing. And it, it you know, chorus and verse addresses that issue that it doesn't become this kind of, um, verbal game that two people are playing, that it becomes a kind of skeleton that we can hang off other things from it. Like you, you mentioned with the verse, this new information or this plot or the who, what, where, basically your ideas of chorus and verse create pockets within scenes. And so understanding that scenes are going to have these particular kinds of pockets and being able to play within those pockets and for both people without saying it out loud, able to understand what pocket we're in allows us to create more complex and more interesting scenes. And, and I think chorus and verses is one of the coolest things you've ever created. Adam. Um, well, cool. Thanks. Cause it's like you're my mirror, my mirror staring back at me. I couldn't get in bigger with anyone else beside me.